Hi, I'm Tanya from My Vinyl Cut, and I'm going to show you how I print to a sawgrass sublimation printer using my Silhouette Studio Business Edition software. And I have a MacBook Air, so if my screen looks different than yours, that might be why. Um, so I have an image that I created. I just took a black silhouette of a moose that I got in a pack and um, just typed a font that I own. Um, all around a circle and converted it to path to create this image and I filled this moose with the plaid pattern that I bought and imported into my software. So this was already created and I just opened it up and it's on a mat and it has the grid showing and this is 12 by 12 so I could actually cut this out of vinyl if I want. It is an actual SVG but say I wanted to print this to my sawgrass printer on sublimation paper and I only have the 400 so my sheet is eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you have to start out by um, setting up your page. So you go to the page setup and you have these three tabs up here. This one is the page size. So I don't have 12 by 12 size sheets of paper. I have to change this to my um, current printer. But before I do that, I have to go up to, and actually you can't see it, it's outside of my, my work area for the video, but you go to File, Print, Page, Setup. So I have a couple printers, and I want to hit Sawgrass, and I want to use the U.S. letter, and I want to change my orientation to Portrait. So I click OK, and so now when I go to current printer, it changes the size of my paper to the same size that I have in my printer. So make sure the orientation is portrait. And I actually am not going to use a cutting mat, so I'm going to turn that off. And um, the grid lines aren't necessary because um, I'm not designing. Um, so you're going to put this here. But something that's very important that you need to do is you go back to the first page size um, setting and you go down here to show print border because if you see this would have been cut off so you have to make sure you place your design within the print border because it will not print outside of this so you want to size this especially with the small printer I have you want to size this as large as it can go because it it will be a good size for a t-shirt, but you don't want it to be any smaller. So you can actually use this little button up here. It's a zoom feature where you just tap it once and then hit the place. Um, you can see a closer view. So let's stretch this out. Well, not stretch. Scale it out a little bit further. If you scale it on the corner, it will maintain the proportions. So if you can see here, you can get really, really close and make it as large as you can, as large as you want to. I'm going to do it again over here. So it doesn't really matter because I'm not actually going to print this. So I'm going to go back to the top here, click this button. So this is ready to go. It's ready to print. So I'm going to go up to, well, you can go to File, but you can't see that here, but I'm going to click um, right here print and a print dialog box will come up just make sure you select your sawgrass and this is condi photo this was set up by condi i bought my printer at condi.com and they remote it in to my computer and they did all these settings i don't know what they did but they did it all and it works perfectly so i just select condi photo i only want one um, this is automatically checked because I got used to doing it this way. So it's, it's even though it's not mirrored uh, right here, um, it's going to actually print it mirrored. So I just know with my, with my sublimation prints, I leave it facing forward and I hit print and it's going to automatically reverse it for me. And when it comes out, then... Um, It'll be ready to press. So 
Uh, excuse the spinning color wheel of doom here. Um, my laptop is very old and the processor is very outdated. I'm literally saving for a new one right now. Um, it freezes and does that all the time. But anyway, that's how you print to Sawgrass. Now, if you haven't had a company come in and remote in and, and fix your settings, you might have to go ahead and do that because that I cannot help you with. <laughs> So again, my name is Tanya from My Vinyl Cut. If you have any questions, just leave it below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified next time I make another video, just click the notification bell. Thank you and happy crafting.